Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. I'm excited to review another replica edition of the 1830 printing of the Book of Mormon. It seems as we get closer to the 200th anniversary of the original volume, there will be more interest in these early copies. So this volume is available at Deseret Bookstore websites and elsewhere, and I'm excited to showcase this today. This is an 1830 replica edition of the Book of Mormon, published by Camorra Land Press. This is a dark burgundy leather-like hardcover with black ribbon and gold lettering and gold lines on the spine. This originally comes in a plastic wrap, and once taken off, there is a printer's card giving the ISBN number, barcode, and general details which means that the inside text is just as it was in 1830. No new updated printing nor new publishing details. I contacted the publisher and was told that the copy of this text came from a digitized image of an 1830 printing that is held at the church archives in Salt Lake City. I was impressed because the text and imagery is really clean for an 1830 replica and it looks really good all around. While thumbing through the text, it's interesting to see some of the traditionally known typographical errors that are inherent with the printing. I mentioned a few times that the 1830 printer would have the text proofread while the printing process was already underway. So corrected pages would be added to the existing paper stack that contained the errors. So some first volumes have various typographical errors, and this replica has some of these variants. An interesting one to note is the page numbering on page 212. The printer listed it as page 122. These were corrected in some printings, but it seems the edition that this replica came from had this error. It's a testimony that printers were human and the, that the message is far more important than the vessel it's delivered in. However, this replica is a great addition to bookshelves along with other volumes. A primary printing came in thicker in a thicker volume and recently they did a second series with a little bit thinner uh, volume as well. I've also been told that another print run is out due soon and it will be interesting to see how this next one comes out. Interestingly, this copy is sold at Deseret Book, and I'm impressed that a third-party volume had the ability to be picked up by Deseret Book, along with the Stratford replica that I've mentioned before. The website listed on the printer's card redirects to Digital Legend Publishing. This is the group that distributes the annotated Book of Mormon that references the Heartland geography model of the Book of Mormon lands. I have reviewed this volume also and encourage that you see that video too. So it seems that this 1830 replica printing of the Book of Mormon is well put together and distributed through some dedicated channels. Thanks everyone for watching this video. I'm always excited to see how replicas of the 1830 Book of Mormon come together, especially as we get closer to the 1830 anniversary. And as always, there is more reviews to come in this series as I continue to have more copies of the Book of Mormon than I have time for reviewing them. However, if you have a specific or unique printing of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes, everyone.